One of the most challenging things on most farms is to understand the soil and what a farmer needs to do for fertility. So knowing this, just a year ago, here at Ag PhD, in conjunction with Midwest Labs out of Omaha and Farm Logic in Kentucky, we developed the Ag PhD Soil Test app. Today we want to talk about that just a little bit and what you can do right now to get yourself prepared for soil testing this fall. Well, when we think about soil testing program for a farm, it's important to have a program. There isn't just one right system for everybody. On our farm last year, we took grid soil samples on all of our fields because of the changing economics in agriculture and where fertilizer prices were at. We wanted to do things right and we wanted to get maximum yield in our fields. We figured we'd need every bushel we could just to make it this year. So, well, yeah, but you talk about that economics and that's really what it comes back to is we don't mind investing money in fertilizer. We just don't want to spend money or waste money on fertilizer. And what happens in a lot of cases, and Darren and I look at soil tests from all over the country and for that matter, all over the world, and we see what farmers are doing for fertility recommendations, and we just say, whoa, why aren't you doing this? Couldn't you do that? And better spend your whatever, $100 an acre, $150 an acre. We want to put that investment into the right things. It's just like if there was some magic way to figure out, okay, in the stock market, I can take $100 and I can put it into just the right stocks and I can turn it into $300 by this fall. That's exactly what we're talking about here. Well, we, we, it, but, I think but it's the totally whole thing different. Is, I think it's totally whole, different. No, I don't think it is at all because what I'm getting at is it's like you have insider information to the stock market. All of a sudden, you look at all the analysis of everything and you know and you go, oh my goodness, this stock is going to do great. It's the same thing out in your field. If you knew best where to stick your money, then you have a much better chance to get a great return on investment. Well, I think it's totally different, Brian, because stocks are unpredictable. Companies are unpredictable. You just don't know what's going to happen. But crops and soils are very predictable. When we look at a crop, if we're completely short on phosphorus, we know what's going to happen to our crop. We're not going to get much yield. If we're completely short in a certain micronutrient, it could be the same thing. And so when we look at soil tests, we do know how plants are going to respond to different nutrients that we're going to be applying on that field. And there is a formula that you can use, and it's pretty simple to do too. For many years in agriculture, we've had soil tests and not really known how to read them. And I think if you just ask all your neighbors around, hey, do you understand everything on this soil test? I don't know if you'd find a single one that would say, sure, I'm completely confident in everything on that soil test. And and that's one of the things that we've really been struggling with and, and trying to help people with is, look, this is predictable. These are just numbers. These are just nutrients for our crop. It's not that tough to understand. We just have to look at our soil tests and know a process to get through them. And it all starts with pulling a good soil test yep. to begin with. So Yeah, but right, before we get to that though, Darren, when you say predictable, a lot of people right away are gonna say, oh no, it's not predictable because we don't know what mother nature is gonna bring. Look, here's the thing. You have to understand this. If you do a better job with fertility, your crop needs less moisture. It's much more drought tolerant. It's also more tolerant to bugs, to diseases, to weeds, you name it. We've got to get that fertility package going first. So yes, good drainage probably is ahead of fertility. But once you have good drainage, then hey, fertility is where you got to focus all your efforts. All right, so it all starts with setting your fields up. And when we look at the free Ag PhD soil test app, you can go online, set up an account for free, set up your fields for free. Uh, and you can go in there, put each field in. So, so here's when we get to uh, the time after harvest when you're going to start pulling those soil samples, your fields are all set in there. You can set your grid points up in advance. You can adjust and move those grid points around. And then you can just go out to your field and boom, 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 pull tests a thousand acres a day easily with one person. Okay, so where you want to start is agphdsoiltest.com. You can go to this agphdsoiltest.com, you sign up for a free account, and then you set up your fields. And you can do it in how we We've done it is right off basically our FSA maps. Now you can create your own field boundaries, you can link fields together, whatever you feel like you need to do, and then you can go ahead and set your grid points, you can spin your grid points around, you can set it on one acre grids, two and a half acre grids, five acre grids, whatever you want to do. But the whole thing is, okay, here we are in a lot of situations, like on our own farm for example, we won't start harvest until around October 1st. So we've got some time yet, but you know what, that time goes pretty fast. So there is vacation and the kids are starting school and I'm getting the equipment ready for fall and 
all these things are happening, but what we're ad advising you to do is just take a day and sit down and decide which fields you want to test this year and then get those grid points set up, get everything set and ready to go so going into the fall, you're ready. Well, and it's pretty simple. You can use your smartphone, follow the GPS on that. It'll take you right to those grid points out in your field. All you have to do is just click the button when you reach the point it tells you how to label that sample and it's important to do it this way so as you send them into the lab you have all your samples labeled exactly where they came from in your fields then you can use that data to very quickly and easily set up a variable rate prescription fertilizer map for your field as well the other thing that you can do when you're setting stuff up this summer is you can go ahead and order supplies and you can even order sample bags that are going to have barcodes right on them and the advantage to that is then you could scan the barcode when you're at that GPS point. And once you're out there in the field, then what we suggest is pulling six to 10 cores right at that grid point, mix those together, and put them in the sample bag. Now, certainly there are some things that you can do to make sure you've got the very best sample. In other words, like when you're using your soil probe to probe straight up and down, and we'll talk about some of those things more this fall. There also is information on the website talking about how to sample right, how to set your grid points, and then some information on some of the new things that we're looking at adding here real soon. Zone sampling is one thing that we're kind of excited about coming forward with the Ag PhD soil test app based on soil types, zones based on yield areas in your field, off your yield map. I mean, those kind of things, you certainly can do that as well. So the reason why we set this up is, yes, there's a lot of information that we just want to make sure that farmers have the right information, but also just sampling techniques and being able to have grid points so easy right off your phone, it just can speed up that whole process. Because the whole thing is, if you've got the right information out there, you're going to make a lot better decisions. One other responsibility that you'll have this fall is controlling our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to do it coming up later in the show.